Dude, you trash the room and then you leave? That's how you roll? It's like a marriage. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Room Exotics. Dave's gotta go back to the family, to the kids. This and I am going to check on the Squadra Corsa supercharged. Up the power when you get there. Yeah, we'll we'll take care of that. We need to take the McLaren MP412C. Well, today we're gonna leave the Ferrari here at the hotel. We're gonna take the 12C and we're gonna go and check on Dave's Squadra Corsa at VF Engineering. <laughs> And it begins. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. High fives for the morning. What have you done? So far we've been disassembling the stock components that are gonna make way for the supercharger unit itself. So from the top of the engine, we've removed the air intake manifold. And now from underneath, we are undoing some of the coolant lines and the drive systems so we can then lift the engine the slightly. Tilt. The tilt. Dave, your car is taking a leak, bro. Just a little leak. We're at the VF Engineering restroom for cars. Cool to see these cars like you know, I'll take him down like this. Guys, we're gonna go with Nick in a Huracan that was just supercharged. Wow, look at this. This car is really cool, the way that the light kind of dances off the front end of that chrome satin red. Just perfect in time for Christmas. Okay, you guys, listen up. I would like to thank Turo for sponsoring today's video. They have an amazing service. Have you ever needed a car? Well, guess what? Now you can skip those pesky lines at the rental car agencies. Now, Turo's gonna be peer-to-peer. -peer. That means that you're able for a small fee to borrow somebody's amazing car. This is an amazing service, you guys, and it is offered in over 5,500 cities. Also, they have 850 plus makes and models that you guys can choose from. Turo is offered in Canada, the US, Germany, and the UK. Get the cars you want when you want them. They even offer delivery for even more convenience. There is a link in the description and you're gonna get $15 off your very first ride. All you have to do is insert the code DDE15. Go today and choose the best car for you at a lower cost than traditional rental services. Click the link in my description and then get your $15 off your very first ride, you guys. Again, that is DDE15. Thanks again to Turo for sponsoring today's video. And... We're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna go for a ride in this one. Oh, I miss this sound. It's just the sound of a hurricane in general. <laughs> These cars are so good. It's scary. Compared to old supercars, they're so refined. They're so good now. They're so fast. You put a supercharger on them. right from the start. I think it's perfect for the street. I mean, I, I wouldn't want any more than this. Yeah, you can't have trouble with this. Yeah. Especially if this was like the two-wheel drive variant. Right. The all-wheel drive helps. Yeah. Oh, our favorite road. and jump in front of the train, Nick. You don't have one. You need a VF Engineering Supercharger. You need one. So you guys are developing um, this Evo right here, the brand new Huracan. That's right. How does it differ from like the first generation? The Evo is effectively a Performante. Really? In all ways, every single way, other than just doesn't have the ALA system. I can't wait to see what Lamborghini comes out with 
for kind of the final edition, if you will, the Squadra Corsa version of the Huracan. I've been told that it's gonna be revealed this summer at Monterey 2020. Should I get one of those? The answer is yes, of course. I've actually been holding out. I have a little stash of money put aside. So the moment I can go and put a deposit down and place my order for that car, that will likely be the very first new supercar I will ever buy. Typically I buy Muse because of what I do. I just don't wanna wait for that car. So I will be first in line for the final edition rear wheel drive crazy, crazy version of the Huracan. All right, you guys, the saga of Too Good For Dave continues. Check this out. These guys have already prepped the top of the engine. VF Engineering is on the game. Okay, you guys, I left the boys at VF Engineering to finish what they were doing on the Squadra Corsa. There wasn't really much more for us to see. However, we're now at Protective Film Solutions because we need to talk to these guys about wrapping the F12. How are you? Doing well, doing well. You like you want to come in and I just hanging here boom hey where's jason he's not in his office uh he's over there filming the vulcan there's a vulcan there's a vulcan hey is there a vulcan here yeah there is can we film it no it's another f12 yes sir that's cool we have to wrap my f12 my f12 is very boring hey, slippery you got that photo i sent you yeah what do you think of that i like it a lot it's kind of like that but in a big way it's not like that can we see the vulcan or no can we show that can we? Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, you got Porsche City. That's typical. Tons of Porsches. Oh, 488. Sexy car. We got some weird beater car in the corner. Yeah, 93 uh, NSX. Oh, that's sick. I like the white wheels and everything. Holy Batmobile. This thing is bananas. Boom. This thing is nuts. This is blitter. Now these are not road legal. There's been one that was made road legal, but this is a race car. This is a modified Vulcan? It's a modified one. What? So uh, don't quote me on it, but I know it's canards, the uh, fender uh, vents, and then also the lower piece of this wing. There's a wing on yeah. a wing. Yeah. Holy snakies. This thing is bananas. I always really liked the, the tail lights. Like, they don't seem very practical, but they are crazy. This wing is absolutely huge. Like, I don't know that I can even justify how that's right race car wheels side exit exhaust side exit exhaust and then uh, of course inside this is the dd exclusive right here look at this. yeah <laughs> inside's gorgeous my favorite part of the vulcan is right here it's the steering wheel ladies and gentlemen kind of started this whole cut the top of your steering wheel trend off didn't but it the functional way and there's a reason why it's like that why is it like that? Because race car. Most of the cars made of carbon fiber, is it not? Yeah. The whole thing? Doors, doors weigh nothing. Look at the doors. We need door cars like this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's like, that's nothing. Yeah. It's an impressive machine. What a beautiful car. So he has an idea. Oh, you want to hear about it? Yeah. All right. Well, it wasn't a coincidence that the new Vantage was back there. You're trying to make that look like this? Yes. Don't want to replicate the car. That's, that's not what I'm trying to do. If you look at the Vantage, the front end of the car is very, very similar. We'll get a full carbon fiber uh, side skirt with a side exit coming out here. That would be bonkers to see a Vantage turned into a Vulcan. All this will be gutted out. Yeah. We'll do a full rear diffuser just like that one. And then a fixed a Vulcan, Vulcan wing. wing. You're going to replicate that? Oh yeah. That one's the Pro, so it has the underlining on. So no Pro. So all of this yep. up and then like a yep. T. Okay. That's quite the challenge. Well, you guys comment below what you think. Jason's gonna try to pull off a Vantage converted to a Vulcan kind of lookalike. And look what I found. I found the test mule for the Supra. That's a trip. We had a quick bite to eat. Now I got Artie in the GT3 RS. We've got him set, all set up here. Gabe's coming with me. Up? Say what up to Gabe. What's going on? What do you think? 
It's so loud when he's beside us. Everybody on DDs missed it. It's quiet. No, it's not. <laughs> Scary loud. Oh, my God. oh, we got an Urus here. Joining the pack or just randomly getting some gas? Dude. I'm little, surprised you can even keep up in this jalopy. Got a little airborne there if you didn't see. I saw you were like, <laughs> you get all four tires off the ground? Yeah. Dude, I want one of those. I want to add that to the Lambo collection. And the new Audi that's coming out. It's the same thing and it's faster. The RS Q8 is not bad. Maybe less power, but it'll be faster. Oh God, you and your Audi bull. An outcast to the DD channel. That's not an exotic. What happened to your R8? Sorry, on all of us have exotic. What does Gabriel think of the uh, 3 RS? Oh, I love it. This car in its current format or the stock F12? I love both a lot. No, 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 <laughs> I no, both no. A lot. F12. Damn. It's my car. I'll say F12. Really? Yeah. You sell your, you sell yourself out on your own car? <laughs> Damn. I don't know, man. This thing is pretty sick. You guys ready to go rip up the tunnel? Oh. What? <laughs> We're not competing with that. We're not competing with that. The V12. Is it man. nasty or what? Well, it's the first supercar I've been in. Ever? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is the second supercar you've ever been in. And it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's no place like Beverly Hills for a Christmas budget to decorate the city. There's no other place. Have a good night, bro. Hey, Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Later. And like that, you guys, this vlog comes to an end. Click the link in my description and then get your $15 off your very first ride, you guys. Again, that is DDE15. Thanks again to Turo for sponsoring today's video. Peace. I thought you were getting a 720S. If it was that, if it was parents' money, for sure, get it for fun, but it's like hard-earned money, I want to spend it wisely, so. <laughs> if it's your, I like that. His justification, if it's parents' money, then yeah. If I have to earn it, then no. <laughs>